Okay guys, so we just arrived here in Istanbul airport. Everything is pretty stressful. It's raining outside and we don't actually know where to go exactly. But I hope we'll find it and have a nice experience here. Maybe we can go and do some shopping or eat something local in the layover time that we have here. So yeah. Subscribe, let's go. E-passport, Turkish international transit. Somehow stressful. I don't know why everybody's rushing so hard. Here, we're at the security. I'm getting ran over by some dude while vlogging. So I don't know why everybody is so stressed out there. They were yelling at each other, pushing people around. I don't know what this was. This was stressful right now. We're going to the gate. No signs at all for our flight. Nothing. We're just going with the flow and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we arrived in some kind of big hall. This hall is actually huge, but everything just seems to be security and perfumes and alcohol. We found the restrooms and we also found the sign with the gate information. And everybody's just standing in front of it and waiting for the gate to pop up. Shop-wise, yeah, we'll need to check it out a little bit. The shop looks a little bit interesting. Um, I'm wondering about the prices inside there. They have interesting things. This might be the nicest travel pillow I've ever seen. It has like holes inside here. Really nice. This backpack, also very stylish with the LEDs. Looks cool to me. I've never seen this. This is like a LCD e-writing board. How does it work? I, okay, the battery is empty. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So I found out, I asked. When you draw on it, you press the button you, normally once, but because the battery is pretty empty, you have to press it a few times right now, but this is pretty cool. That's why I love to shop in different countries because you find so many different things. Look at these. How do you call these in English? What 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 is that? Actually, some some. It's not a towel. Blankets. Oh, these are blankets. God damn it! I need to get my active vocabulary on points in English. Some traditional Turkish sweets. These look pretty nice as a set, like for a present, but. 35 euros, too fucking expensive. So, as we are from Germany, we hope to find some kind of Döner kebab <laughs> here, but yeah, haven't seen one yet. Where is the kebab here? Where is it? We need to compare. Like, does Turkey have the better kebab or not? Guys, watch this. Croissant. 7 euros. 7 euros for this small thing. What's up, guys? Welcome to Technogate. Guys, I don't even smoke anymore, but by just standing in here, I'll be smoking as well. <laughs> I didn't want to say a thing, but like this is the ashtray here. It rains inside. We're standing beside a bin, looking at yeah, the airplanes outside. Talking about the Wi-Fi in here. Couldn't get it to work in like three or four minutes because you have to register with everything. You have to give them your email, you have to give them your phone number, then you receive the SMS, you check the number, the pin code that you get on in the SMS and then when you go back to the login screen 
you have to start all over, so it's so stupid. And then they have uh, some kinds of machines that are standing around where you would have to register with your passport just to get free Wi-Fi, come on. That's too much. So, little, little travel hack. Empty your water bottle before the security checks and afterwards you can fill it up again to have some water to drink on the plane but if you fill it up here in the restrooms it's undrinkable so we are going to throw it away but the good thing is water here in the airport is like one euro so that's that's fine guys we found it this is the mcdonald's of turkey so what's the price here? 10 euro in a menu. That's actually pretty good. That's solid for an airport. That's pretty solid. Let's check out the meat. Yeah, well, now we're not gonna try this. We're at Starbucks. Just checking the prices. Filter coffee. 7 euro 50 the tall one the small one 750 for a small filter coffee what so this store here looks pretty good <laughs> look at the back cover over there with the pistachio this thing looks pretty cross not tasty probably tasty I don't know. Sandwich not tasty. Shimit might be tasty, but the cheese on it is already sweating. Hi. How much is one water? 55. 55. And how much is one of these? How much one of these here? How much? 230. Look at those sweets, guys. Never seen those ones before. They look pretty interesting. They look really yummy. Standard ones. These look great. Awesome, like green, full of pistachios. Check these out. And these boxes, one box costs 63 euros for one box. That's sick. They're making millions out here. Check this out. I don't know how this tastes. To be honest. One kilogram? 1,600 yeah. 1, lira for one kilogram of these. We are ordering one of these now with feta cheese. I don't know what's happened to the avocado sandwich over there. It looks like it's been dying for two weeks over there. Okay, so we're about to try the burek. I can't concentrate because children are running around here fearing that my camera is gonna fall over. Let's try. I'm trying to figure out anything special about it. Thinking about um, sesame seeds maybe no crunch the cheese inside not that tasty it's not really dry but yeah tastes like nothing yeah it tastes like nothing basically yeah <laughs> and it was almost five euros so not worth it so we're sitting here in this lounge area now at the gate it's loud, children are crying. We're sitting here at the windows because most of the seats are occupied. Very stressful experience here at the airport in Istanbul. Didn't expect that, to be honest. I'm a little bit disappointed because we didn't eat the kebab. I'm more than a little bit disappointed. I'm like truly disappointed. What was that on the, on the meat? Meat piece, wie heißt meat piece, flesh piece? Kebab. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, I was trying to figure out the word for the, the meat thing, or the, the, the rotating meatball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Didn't look good to me. Review-wise, this airport, we were only here for like 
two hours and that's enough. I'm glad that we're gonna board soon and fly to Egypt. So I think if you can avoid it, to have a layover here in Istanbul, avoid it. We paid like 200 euros less because we have a layover here, so good deal, it's fine. It's not that stressful, take the money. <laughs> not that bad, but really nothing special. I expected more from the capital city airport of Turkey. So yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe and Subscribe for real because tomorrow we, we're gonna vlog in Egypt and you don't want to miss this. So see you tomorrow. Peace